Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Freight Forwarding. We are working toward... Oh, running into rocks. Working towards all sorts of things right now. I kind of need to get all the logistics set up for the other island, but we've got copper running back and forth now. And it is being supplied correctly with empty uh, containers. And those containers are being filled and then belted over and those are being loaded into the ship which then will leave either when it's full or after five minutes and then it will go and unload so we've got a bunch of copper plates coming in and we still need to decontainerize them and we will decontainerize them in a minute uh, but first we want to do prod modules for science which is something we had on the list for a long time ago and we still haven't done So let's get that done. And then we also need to work on setting up construction bots for the whole base. So that's a thing. Oh, I need more than 50 of these. Well, that'll have to wait a minute because we have 160 labs, so I need 320. So never mind, that'll still take a minute. Um, so let's hook up the copper while we wait. And that will help us make modules faster. I also just recorded uh, the episode on the new Factorial Friday facts, but by the time you guys are watching this... Oh, lots of... Uh, by the time y'all are watching this, it'll be probably the next FFF by now, because I think we're at least a week out. Um... Batteries. Wait, what? Oh, we need 0.9 batteries. Oh, we just don't have enough battery makers here. Okay, fine. I guess I didn't really think about that. Um, okay, we need that setting where nanobots still do their thing. That's confusing. Nanobots not allowed in networks. Off. We do want them allowed in networks. There we go. Okay, let's get some more battery action. Plus a little bit of prod. Now this would be a good place for prod too, wouldn't it? Even that they cost titanium and 10 components, they're not exactly cheap. Woohoo! Yay! Look at all these bots! Aw, oh, they're so happy! Okay, we need a lot of robo ports though. Um, so I'm gonna do that thing I talked about where I delete everything but the robo ports. And then we can um, paste it where it fits, at least, which is not everywhere or really anywhere, it seems. Okay, cool. start to get bot coverage around the base. Okay, what about this? We need one over there. Of course that... Alright. I'll have to manually do some of this. And most of them are not going to be powered up. So we'll have to fix that too.
Right, let me need one somewhere in here. That'll be one of them. Those two. Okay, that needs to go down one tile for sure. to go to the right as well. By two tiles? Or just one? Just one, okay. So there's that. We'll get this one lined up. Okay, we're getting there. We've got construction outlines. We just need this area. Get this one placed, maybe in between these guys. There's that. Now these all need some power. How's that looking? Ooh, it looks pretty good. We've got a gap over the belts here, though, so we're gonna need to close that gap. It's hard to see because it's underneath the belts. This is going to be a challenge. I may just have to go around all of this nonsense. I just kind of hope that that all works together to do what we need it to do. One there. giving up on a perfect grid.
And then we definitely need coverage for our labs. Okay. We've got that figured out. So then we need provider chests on a bunch of things. And I probably need more storage chests. And we can start working on personal logistics. Heck yeah. Let's see. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Just keep 40 on hand, because that's enough. We're just gonna start going ham here. Mm -hmm. What else? Anything I ever use. Auto cores, greenhouses, power poles, electric engines. All of those are already there. We've already got a lot of these. Ammo. Not that I'll need ammo, probably, but you know, just in case. All these military things. Robots. Uh, let's see, that one shouldn't be a provider. Fuel, definitely fuel. Um, <laughs> whatever those are called, those things, those things. Furnaces, I guess is what those are called. Lights. And then we need plates. Okay, why don't I work on the copper plates? Those are kind of a problem right now. We do need a bunch more belts for that, though. Wait, what's going on? Ah, oh, we ran out of fuel. I was like, why are belts messing with me? I'm not used to this. We ran out of fuel. Probably should do the thing where we auto insert bots to the network. So uh, what's the best way to do it? I think we'll just go simple. Um, so a number of available logistics bots goes below, so X is less than, uh, 50. Wait, these are new symbols. <laughs> Craft Story 2, build here, don't touch, kill, WTF. <laughs> That's funny. Um... And you will do con bots, which is, is it Y? No, Z. Z is less than uh, 100. Okay. Well, I'll keep those um, 
filling up when we need to. AKA when I do a concrete construction project, then yeah, that's gonna happen. Okay, and then for copper, we get two per belt, so we'll put that on the same belt and then we'll filter it out. And like I said, once we get signal transmission, we're gonna have to transmit the signal or maybe I'll just use big power poles. That'll be easier for now. It's not that far. Um, so we'll connect with big power poles the how many we need so that we don't send a billion um, whatchamacallits. I'll set this up for three red belts worth. I don't have the red containerizers yet, do I? Oh, I do. I just need to research these. Okay. Uh, copper plate unload. Okay. Easy enough. And then the loaders are filtered. And then we've got filter inserters. Um, or should I do this? Does that even work? I've never done things that way before, but I think it works. Okay, you're filtered on empty containers. All right, so we set that up and then these get connected. These are empties, which just come down here. And then we need a signal, maybe here. Seems good. Um, how do I want to do this? No. no, we should have a little buffer of some sort. And... This can only hold up to 48. So if it drops below 40, then we know we need more? I feel like that's good enough. Um, okay, I need to craft some more wires too. I also need some more power poles. And those I'll max out at, oop, I'll do 50 and 50. Why does it not, oh, whatever. Need to do more of that quality of life, long reach research. Now the issue, if issue is the right word, is that um, if we're not using some sort of SR latch, then we're gonna because there's going to be a long delay, essentially, in how long it takes for the, the ones that unload on this end to get to the other end, we should probably artificially slow down the output of 
hopper containers, which I never belted up. Oh yeah, they're going on the other side of the titanium. Okay, so then we need some form of don't go too fast, but go fast enough. Interesting. Hmm. Ooh, I have an interesting idea. <laughs> I have an interesting idea. Look, we like solving problems in new and interesting ways. This is going to be one of them. Okay, so we've... Now, the reason I'm using these is because one of these inserters will be fast enough for the whole game, right? If it's doing five a second, that's 5,000 copper per second, which I don't think we'll ever be needing that much. And if we do, well... Um, yeah, then we've got a new build coming. So, uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to limit this to just like 12 and I'll do that and I'll measure. First of all, ugh, it's so annoying. I really wish, so we're about to be able to do it but you should be able to change the stack size before you've unlocked the second option. Because some things break when they turn to a stack size of two. Anyway, um, so what we're gonna do is say if, uh, what's it called? If this thing, um, is less than 40 then you'll send some but what i'm also going to do is i'm going to read the belt contents of a few belts here and so it'll only put one so if we're missing one, like let's say we get down to 39, well, it'll put this on the belt and then it'll immediately read the contents and now it'll be back up to 40. So it won't put one on the belt until it goes past this section. Then it'll add another one. So it'll only add, you know, one every second or two. And that way we won't get a billion on the belt. But if for some reason we needed them faster, well, now we get down to 38 on the other end. And now we need two on this section before it slows down. So it'll like pick up the speed as the gap gets larger and larger. Conceptually, it's a great idea. Logistically, it's probably not necessary. Because um, right now it's so far underneath what it needs to be. Wait, I didn't connect those. There we go. So, I mean, is this necessary? No. Did I want to do it because it's cool? Yes. So we're going with it. What's up, Red Raff? Welcome, welcome. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing for titanium since I've already got this here. Speak of the devil, here comes 19 more copper crates. <laughs> See if this works correctly. It, it all made sense in my brain, but that, that hardly means anything when you're dealing with circuit conditions. Also, I just realized I didn't, did I filter the splitter properly? Did I even put a splitter in? We'll find out. I don't think I did this right up here. Let's see if we can get ahead of it. Oh, 
Yeah, we did not. Copper container, copper plate to the right. And then we need this same build right here. And then we need the wire on the chest hooked up to that power pole. I think that was it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, does it look better to do this where it squiggles when it needs to turn, or does it look better to just go directly out to the distance it should be at? That definitely looks better. There's three belts of copper. Packaged here. Probably won't need one belt of titanium, so I'm not gonna leave room for a second belt of titanium. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. But I'm not. And now we've got inserters having. Capacity 2, so we need to change this guy to override stack size. So that's what I was saying. You should be able to override the stack size even before you've got a second one. Now, that is a little bit, of, that should maybe be a setting because noobs are going to get confused by that for sure. Because um, that is definitely the kind of thing that would be a noob trap. But I would like to, to use that setting. And by noob trap, I think that's maybe the wrong phrase. Um, more just like something that noobs wouldn't understand or need. It's like, wait, what? You can override the stack size, but the stack size is one because new players don't even know you can upgrade the stack size. So it would be very confusing in some ways. Um, maybe I do... Second. Because we don't have a second belt over here. Maybe we do this one backwards. And then... <laughs> is there a way... I guess we'll need to underground the coal. Is there a way to, like... Do that, and then that. There we go. And so we're like adding the backwards copper into the forwards copper. It's kind of funny. Um, and yet, I like it. Yeah. So we'll copy that. And we'll do that on each of the places where we use copper. And we do want to input priority right on this, I guess, because we want to utilize the copper on this island first. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, I didn't. is all gonna be going left. And then once the, uh, the original copper mine runs out, I'll switch the direction of the other belt too, which will require a little bit of the rebuilding of when 
we take off the belt, but that's fine. Uh oh. I knew it would break something. Okay, that's still good. Which that this is an area we need it. Check. Yellow Belt's territory. Ah. Guess what we can do? Auto trash! Keep one stack of coal on my person, and that's it. I had gotten all of it. One more. Uh oh. This one this one's not long enough. Um That's okay, we'll figure it out. Um Okay, the call is fine. The copper doesn't need to keep... Oh, it does. There's one more. Two more? How many more do we need? Oh my gosh, we still need two more? Okay. Oh, I'm out of, uh... Out of the undergroundies. Alright, time for... Thousand belts. For the bots to earn their keep. 150 and 50 and 50. Two hundred. One hundred. And roboports. Two hundred pipes. Speaking of pipes, get these requested. 50, 100, 50, 50. Assemblers, furnaces, miners, implants, 30. What else do I commonly need? Modules. Nanobots. Hey, sine wave, welcome. Glad you could make it to a stream. Trash iron chests, trash wood above 25, trash stone above 50, keep it between 25 and 50, sometimes you need it for crafting, um, definitely trash sand. I like to trash a lot of things only if they're above a stack. It does waste some space in the long run, but we'll get more inventory space upgrades. And it's really annoying if you're trying to move an item like sand and it and it keeps disappearing because it's going into your trash slots. That can get really annoying. 
will avoid a little bit of that. Now what I can do is trash all of the yellow belts. Uh oh, that's bad. Why is there an out of fuel? What ran out of fuel and why? Huh. Um, the container unloader is not getting fueled. But they're all getting fueled. Oh, uh, those wait for a full cargo inventory. So that requires some amount of loading time. This one only unloads. So we need a little bit of inactivity. Uh, I should probably add that into these guys too, actually. Although that's kind of confusing. Um, I think that's how we want it to, to be. Um, it's inactivity though, string weasels, so it would it would be after the fuel's done loading. I believe it counts that. So it won't be inactive until the fuel's completely done loading. At least I think that's how it is. I could be wrong about that. And where did I leave the hovercraft? Let's play a game. Is that it? That's it. And are these in provider chest yet? They are not. Get that done. All right, red circuits are finally happening. Now that we've got lots more copper coming in, that feels good. And we need to go manually fuel up that ship with fuel that we don't have. Ooh, you know what I can do? You know what I can do? Must have deleted it. Thought I had did I not leave it over here? My little my little doodad. We'll just have a plane bring it to us. Why is that not launched yet? Oh, it only has 75. So I had to wait for the inserter to load it in. Okay. Yum. Yum. So cool. Off it goes. All right, let's get this ship rolling again. doing <sighs> I fixed the copper right like I was in the middle of something when I realized that now I've got to go back remember what it was 
Um, hmm. Don't remember. Oops, sorry. Don't remember what it was anymore. Shoot. Ugh, I just want to do stone stacking, you know? After that Factorio Friday fact, I just feel even more like the game we're playing is not good enough anymore. It's crazy how excited I am for Space Age. You guys can bet I'm going to be streaming that one day one. Day... Oh, that's what I was going to do. So... Oh, we don't have requester chests yet. So usually what I like to do is I actually... Wait a second, no. What do I like to do? How do I do this? How do I normally do this? Yeah, yeah, I change this into a requester chest, and then I request, um, you know, let's say 400 transport belts, and then I load until we have 500. So, or no, that's not right. I request 500 and we load until we have 400. So I'm basically always requesting from the network um, and I'm never providing these anywhere. So essentially as I trash them, they get recycled into here and used up because you never use them again. Because um, you don't need to provide them for anything except for this, which is already getting them. Anyway, um, I was maybe revamping provider chests. I kind of don't remember. We already got the fuel. Probably should do water fill. We already did water fill. Um, science. We need prod modules. Maybe that's the next thing to do. 8% more science for free. Let's do module inserter for this one. Um, science lab. Prod. Fraud. Bam. Now the bots will have a heyday with that. They'll get that done. And that's 8% more science. Goody goody. Uh, what else? Oh, trees. We can start doing some tree blueprinting. Can't we? We're gonna need to connect logistics up where the trees are. But we should be able to do some good tree bl blueprinting. And let's just get the rest of the base covered here. Just kind of spitballing. Um, another one down here. Looking good. Coverage is pretty nice. Oh, that one needs a power pole. So does this one. And... Need one in like this region. Oh, this is where Super Force build is going to be wonderful because I could just 
super force build over the belts and it automatically puts undergrounds underneath them. It's super neat. Instead of that going there, let's keep this lined up there. Maybe another one over there. All right, that should be pretty good. Uh, we can always do more later if we need it. And one entity's missing repair packs. Aha, that's something we can just provide manually. The other thing I should do is some plate cleanup. Like I want 200 to 300 irons. I want 150 to 300 coppers. 50 to 300 steels. Hundred glass. Uh, any gears? Probably beams too. And engines. I'll do 200 regular engines because vehicles take a bunch. Regular or electrics. Some batteries. What else do I need? I think that's fine for now. I'm sure, we'll do more. Oh, lights. 50 lights. Okay, and then for copper, we actually need to put some in a chest. We're not doing that yet from the provided copper. And then we need iron provided. enough. Oh, big poles. In fact, all of these things need to be provided. And anything else? Tanks, maybe. Storage tanks, not to be confused with tank tanks. Two hundred to three hundred and greens. Two hundred to three hundred. And blues we'll have soon enough, but speaking of blues, everyone say hi to Cirky. Hi. Very excited about uh, freight forwarding and the new Factorio Friday facts as well. Cirky the circuit. What a champ. <laughs> why why is there a belt of copper going in the wrong direction? You know, uh, we actually just did that. So that's the copper coming from the east. And so that's getting unloaded um, and it's going backwards and then supplementing all of the copper that's going down into the base. So it's coming from two directions, which is not something I think I've ever done before, but it's working like a champ right now. So it looks like stone is actually the primary, um, the primary issue. So we probably should work on constructing the mining drill tier twos. Why don't we do that? And probably the easiest way to do that is bring titanium over. 
to the west. Right? I think so. I could just... Did I already bring titanium over? No, we brought red circuits over, that's what. Lead. Hmm, maybe we won't then. We're still not gonna have um, requester chests for a while, otherwise I would just do that. And containerizer two is just finished. Which requires stack inserters, which also require titanium, interesting. Okay, it is kind of annoying though, because we need iron beams, auto cores, and auto cores are like wires and plates. I don't remember. Ugh. Sticks, gears, copper plates, beams, steel gears. There's so many like individual <laughs> buildings we're gonna need for this. many individual buildings okay uh, I'm trying to see if I could fit it like up here or something maybe not okay this is where the bus will turn so this area needs to stay open um, so then we're gonna need titanium coming back I'm gonna, I think I can fit it right here easily enough. So we need sticks and gears, and then I need another, was it steel beams or was it steel gears? I think it was steel gears, actually. Steel gears, this is sticks and gears and then we need auto cores which are both of these and also copper and then we need drill tier ones which also include This is nuts. Um, iron beams. And of course, we need to switch these now because uh, I'm, I'm working faster than I'm thinking. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, good, good. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. This is going into tier twos, which I think. Believe it or not, I want to say this is going to hashtag work. No, we don't need that. Still missing a couple inserters, though. Um, you grab from there. Oh, right. These are in the wrong spot now. There we go. And you are grabbing. Oh, that one was right. Why is this not working? I don't know. Shouldn't have extended that. There we go. Okay, cool. A little bit of a mess, um, but we've got tier two mining drills. Automated. Maybe. Yes. Beautiful. Uh, not quite. There we go. Ta-da! And there's our first tier 2 mining drill, which we will go 100 to 100. 
for now. We'll just ditch the tier ones. Uh, oh, I guess what we need to do... This makes it a little tricky. Um, of course. Okay, instead of unloading there, I'll have a... We'll need to change this into a requester chest later. But I'll connect this to the logistic network. And it'll only work if... Uh, mining drill... Is less than... Bitty. So then when we deconstruct mining drills, they'll go here. Although part of the problem is some of them are on the other island, but whatever. they're not. Mining drill tier ones aren't that big of a deal to waste. Sweet. Okay, mining drill tier twos are a thing. And they're pretty amazing. Look at them. Look at that huge area. So we can go get more stone now. Of course, we have enough stone after I said that, but you know. Also looks like I'm not properly utilizing. Both belts. Tamed biters as better robots. Now there's a planet on style using animals as robots. That would be a thing. That would be a sight to behold. Okay, now I probably need some better uh, coverage over the lake here. Let's put one there. And probably one here. Doesn't fit there. As far as trees, did I delete the blueprint trees mod? What's going on here? Can I not blueprint these? Weird. Why can I blueprint these but not the other ones? How did I make the other blueprint in the first place? That's confusing. Huh, I don't remember. Um, regardless, we probably should be done with the episode, because we're an hour in already. Of course, there's a gap. That's fine. I'm not going to put logistics chests in that little spot, so we're fine. This way, robots will have plenty of spaces to charge. Um, and... I think this is a good candidate up here for a bunch of trees. And then 
Okay. That'll do that, and then we need the radars to go in some sort of provider chest, so I'll just put those in myself. And prod modules for science is done. Hook up copper to main base is done. Set up bot network at main base is done. Set logistics request for players is done. Wow, so many things off the checklist. So next we'll work on iron on Icy Island and the chain network on Icy Island. And for those of you on YouTube, as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next episode.